Good morning, everyone. I'm Will Angeles, your host for this remarkable day for environment. Samahan niyo po kami at panoorin ang ating napaka-worthwhile na event. At dahil nasa YouTube tayo, please do share our live stream on your social media pages. Ipakalat po natin ang magandang balita para sa ating kapaligiran. And if you have any thoughts, you can share it on the comment section down below. I'm truly grateful to take part of this event because in my own small capacity, I also advocate for sustainability and a cleaner environment. Kaya ngayong araw, will reflect on how we can sustain a healthy environment in the future, especially that we are now experiencing a climate or a change in our climate. So to better explain the context of what I'm talking about, I'm honored to introduce one of the important persons in rallying for this sustainable and livable future. Samahan niyo po ako sa pag-welcome kay Department of Environment and Natural Resources Forest Management Bureau, Director Lourdes C. Wagan, for opening message. Pleasant day to everyone. Climate change is one of the most pressing issues we face today. It is a natural phenomenon which has been constantly occurring since the beginning of time. However, due to the unstable practices of humanity, this process is being sped up to an alarming rate. Join the Forest Management Bureau as we launch our first ever mini-series on climate change, CLIMA. This activity is conducted in support of the National Climate Change Consciousness Week, which aims to raise awareness on the adverse effects brought about by the said phenomenon. In three episodes, we will be tackling about the drivers and impacts of climate change, the actions taken by the country to address this growing problem, and the little ways in which we can contribute to fight against it. Through these informative videos, we highlight the fact that we can heal the planet with a proper approach and mindset. We wish to give you hope, which this optimistically will translate to action. With this, I encourage you to join us in this combat against climate change. Let's do our part for our environment. Again, good morning, everyone, and have a pleasant viewing. Maraming salamat po, Dr. or Director Wagan, for your informative and inspiring message. Again, um, this was uh, a lot of information and uh, the very inspiring message that she gave to us. And like she mentioned, or for all our information, um, the global, global warming is an increase in average temperature of the Earth, which modifies the weather balances and ecosystems. Kaya naman po, um, the massive use of fossil fuels, uh, deforestation and proper waste disposal in our water, in our air, lahat po ito adds to this uh, effect in our climate. Even our consumption of our natural resources. That's why sabi nga ni Director, we can all do our part, our small part, in our own little ways to combat climate change. Kaya maraming again, uh, maraming again salamat sa you know, Director Wagan for your informative and inspiring message. Well, actually, back in my academic years, I first learned about global warming in my science class. It was an interesting topic, but honestly, I still don't know what we should do to stop it. O kaya kung anong mga bagay na pwedeng maka-apekto rito. Kakauti pa rin ang alam natin noon. Kaya naman, ngayon mas marami na tayong information about it at sana matutuhan natin i-adapt ang mga bagay na pwedeng pumigil sa climate change. Kaya maraming salamat sa mga ganitong pagkakataon na na-inform po tayo on what we can do to combat climate change. Kaya this time, we will launch a video about climate change and its adverse effect and its impact on the Philippines and the world around us. This is to further inform our kababayans about it. We really cannot talk about it or enough about it because we really need to change our perspectives. And this change can mean heaven and hell in the process. But we need to continue Continue on to a sustainable and livable earth for us from this day forward. Yeah, let's all watch this. Ito ang earth sa taong 2100. Sa panahon ito, kakaunti na lang ang habitable places sa mundo. Makikita ang lubog na sa baha ang mga world-known metropolis dahil sa pagtaas ng sea level. Anong sanhin ito? I will be showing you how we might 
or might not end up like this in the future. Back in 2020, hindi pa lubog sa baha ang luneta, pero patuloy ang paglala ng sakit ni Mother Earth. She wasn't infected with COVID, pero patuloy ang paglabas ng sintomas niya. I'm sure, narinig mo na kung anong iniinda niya, pero baka di lang ito ang priority mo sa ngayon. Climate change, ito ang sakit ng Earth sa kasalukuyan. Ito ang pagbabago sa klima ng mundo. Anong halaga nito sa iyo? kung di ka naman naabot sa susunod na siglo. Makinig ng mabuti at explain ko ang science at politics nito sa pinakamadaling paraan. Climate change is a difference in Earth's average temperature and weather conditions in a region for a long period of time. Ito ay epekto ng tinatawag na global warming o ang pagtaas ng temperatura sa mundo. Gawa ito ng increasing greenhouse gases sa atmosphere na umaharang sa init ng araw na dapat sana ipalabas patungo ng space, kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na greenhouse effect. Sa mahigit apat na bilyong taon ng Earth, historically, nagbabago-bago talaga ang global climate. Sa mga unang bilyong taon ng Earth, natural ang causes ng climate change tulad ng pagtama ng asteroid, sabay ang pagsabog ng maraming bulkan at patuloy na pag-develop ng mundo para maging livable ito sa mga tao. Ngunit simula ng Industrial Revolution no mid-1700, natuto ang mga tao na gumamit ng fossil fuels to power industries, transportation, and homes, or simply have a more convenient life. Ngunit sa pag-burn ng fossil fuels, nagdudulot ito ng maruming hangin na malaki ang potential for health risks like asthma, heart disease, at lung cancer. Sa panahong ito, lumobo rin ang populasyon ng buong mundo mula sa 600 million to nearly 8 billion in 2020. Kaya mas lumawak din ang lupang kinagamit para gawing tirahan, sakahan, at economic zones na dati mga gubat o forest lands. Dahil sa paglobo ng populasyon, dumami rin ang food consumption ng tao sa baboy, manok, baka, at iba pang livestock na nagproproduce ng greenhouse gas na methane. All of these human activities release tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Kapansin-pansin ang pagtaas ng global average atmospheric carbon dioxide from 280 parts per million to approximately 410 parts per million in 2019. Ito ang dahilan ng mabilis na pagtaas ng temperatura ng mundo. Kung patuloy itong tataas sa taas ng mabilis, ito ang problema. Klaro na tao ang may kagagawa ng mga ito, kaya tao rin ang magpapabago nito. Malinaw ang epekto ng climate change na makikita sa pagkatuno ng mga glacier, pagdating ng mga mapinsalang bagyo, daan-daang pagkasira ng mga coral reefs at pagkakaroon ng fish kills, pagkakaroon ng malawakang pagtuyot at forest fires, na siyang magiging sanhi ng malawakang pagkagutong ng mga hayo at maging ng mga tao. Nasa harapan na natin ang epekto ng climate change, pero marami pa rin ang kipit balikan at tumutulog sa rito. It's really hard to change the climate of lifestyle. Kung magpapatuloy ito, mawala ay nasnap ang biodiversity o magkakaroon pa ng iba't ibang super typhoon tulad ng Yolanda at Rolly. Ang solusyon ng buong mundo? Ang pagbabago ng nakagawian. Think about it. Halos lahat ng mga tao sa cities ay gumagamit ng kuryente. Sa Pilipinas pa lang, tumataas na ang energy consumption. May approximately 75 million mobile phone users sa bansa. Wala pa dyan ang paggamit ng radio, TV o iba pang appliances. Milyon-milyon din ang gumagamit ng transportasyon tulad ng aeroplano, barko, kotse, jeep at tricycle. Lahat ng mga ginagawa ng modern society ay nakakaapekto sa pulusyon ng mundo na siyang nakakaapekto sa pagbabago ng klima nito. Hindi na lang ito about the science and environment anymore. Sakop na rin ito ang socio-political aspects, hindi lang ng Pilipinas, pero ng buong mundo dahil bawat tao at bawat bansa sa mundo ay interconnected. Ang malaking tanong ngayon ay how can we change the climate using our global interconnectedness? Ilang dekada na rin tayong nakikipaglaban tungkol dito. 
na kailang beses na rin nagkaroon ng pagpupulong ang mga bansa. Nagkaroon na rin ng iba't ibang international protocols. Lahat ng ito ay suportado ng Pilipinas. Bakit naman hindi? Isang Pilipinas sa most vulnerable na bansa sa usapin ng climate change. Maaaring ganito ang sapitin ng luneta in 2100 kung hindi tayo kikilos. Ngayon, meron na tayong mga programs and policies na sumasaklaw dito. Ang kailangan na lang nating gawin ay tuparin at sundin ang mga ito. Kaya ng mga tao na pigilan ng climate change at magkaroon ng balansa sa kalikasan at sa pag-asenso ng mundo. Kaya ito dahil kayang-kaya mong maging masino sa paggamit ng enerhiya. Kayang-kaya mong kumonsumo ng sapat sa iyong pangangailangan. At kayang-kaya mong pausbungin ng lupa at magtanim ng mga puno't halaman. Tandaan, whatever we do impacts the world. Ito ang klima ng pagbabago. Ikaw, anong mas gusto mo? Ang magpalutang-lutang sa luneta o magkaroon ng sustainable na pamumuhay? Wow. Thank you so much, Forest Management Bureau, for this very informative and moving animated video. I hope we all learn from that. It touched me so much, and um, I hope we'll all be aware on what to do and um, do our part in combating um, climate change, because it does not only affect us humans, but also animals and everything else around us. So again, thank you, Forest Management B B B uh, Bureau, for this informative and moving animated video. And this initiative aims to promote a domestic perspective on climate change. We also want to thank our partners, uh, Spaces Manila and Owl Wright Studios for putting together this video campaign. This is just the start and there will be more informative videos to come. And I hope you'll support this educational project for the Filipino people. Also, you may follow their social media accounts That's FMB Facebook page, FMB or uh, facebook.com slash DENRFMB. Also FMB YouTube channel, that's Forest Management Bureau DENR. That's HTTP colon slash slash BIT or bit dot LY slash FMB YouTube 01. Also uh, an Instagram account, that's Forest Management Bureau at DENR. Dot FMB. And before we end, I hope that we can share this video. Please do share with as many people as possible. The DENR FMB will also post the video separately. And we hope that we take part on this klima ng pagbabago in our own little ways. Again, my name is Will Angeles, and thank you for participating in our video launch. Let's continue to sustain the beauty of the earth for the future. Maraming salamat po and have a great day ahead.